This is going to be the site for my next hunt. Just in front of my living room window. Field here. Water collects in the bottom. It may have been a site of an old lake thousands of years ago, I don't know. Um, there used to be a crossing on the river. Armies have camped there. Um, but there's been a reasonable amount of history in the field. I haven't found any of it though, but um, apparently there's been things going on. And I spoke to someone the other day and he says in this corner of the field here he found quite a few spindle whorls. I found one just on the other side of that field, so that's where I'm going to concentrate my efforts today. This is the first dig, literally just in front of my house, 20 yards into the field. Decent signal, reading 12.46, jumping around a little bit, but it's kind of settling on 12.46. Uh, before I unearth whatever that is, I'd just like to explain, I'm using the E-Track again, with the 18 by 15 coil, try and get a bit of depth in this field. Not envision there being much rubbish, there generally isn't, so get a bit of depth. I'm using the Roman Sight pattern, which I downloaded from the internet. Um, I find that a good alternative to the Relic pattern that's, that comes with the machine. Uh, I, I just find that it, it uh, differentiates between the targets a lot better. And it's a little lump of copper pipe. It's a poor start. Dug way down in this one. Got a bit of coke here. There's also another signal here. Same hole. Very, very close to where the coke was. Kind of hoping that it's something useful. Tiny little button. I thought it was a Roman coin at first, but just a tiny little button. This is a very shallow target, reading 1338. Looks like a big old penny. Dear God, it's so worn. <laughs> I'm not going to get a date off that one. Pretty old anyway. Halfway to Australia in this wool. Still no sign. Still no sign, but what? Yeah, there is some sign. There we go, it's an old penny. Don't know how old it is. Very worn, never ever going to get a date or even a, a king or queen off there. Don't know, possibly a Georgian one, but that's got to be a good foot. Maybe it's more. This thing's got to be, what, nine inches? Got nine inches. And more or less all my fingers. That's a good foot. It's not a bad depth. I thought that was a big coin, another penny, but it's a big old button. Good depth again, probably is nine, ten inches. It's quite a jumpy signal off to the right hand side of the screen. Worth a dig though. It says it's very deep, so I'm, maybe it's not deep enough. It's saying about 8 inches. Maybe it's not too far off. Aha, it's either a button or a coin. Coin, I think. Yep, definitely a coin. 
and it looks like a Victoria. Looks like an early Victoria sixpence. That was probably about nine, ten inches down. It's a pretty good depth. Yeah, it looks like an early Victoria. I'm not going to rub it too much. I'll give it a clean up and show you at the end. I don't know whether that's a coin or a button. Looks like a coin. There's no sort of fitting on the back. Can't see any detail on it. I'll give it a quick wash when I get back. This one gave a strange signal. Gave a pretty much the same signal as that um, bouncy sixpence before. But uh, I think if I had a hazard a guess, I would say that this is a musket ball that's actually hit something very solid. Totally flat on one side, very rounded on the other. It looks like there's been some mad force involved. It's the first one I've had that looks like that. Looks like a very, very old half penny. Definitely not a button, it was reading 10.38 or 10.41, I forget which. It was bouncing around a little bit, but pretty sure that's an old half penny. Nice big old musket ball there. Good one, I like musket balls. Well, back in now, and I think I was out for about two hours or something. If it hadn't have been for that silver coin, those little musket balls, it would have been a total disaster. Found a few buttons, some manky old coins. Absolutely horrendous. They're probably the worst ones I've ever found. You think you come out of a shipwreck. Two musket balls, one of which is a big lad, the other one has hit something. A little lead shape, don't know what that is, and an 1881 sixpence. It's in pretty good condition. So that made the hunt worthwhile. Thanks for watching.